Um, so real quick, someone was talking about how to make mood boards. I said I'd do this, but it's a lot of steps, so we're doing it in a video. I'm sorry if that's not anybody's preferred format. So this is GIMP. It's free. We use GIMP. So we're going to make a... No, we're not going to press that button. We're going to press that button. Make a new file. I like to... I've just found that like 1500 by 1500 is a really good size for that. And I'm going to make my background white. Uh, for that, you hit Shift and B. I use a lot of keyboard shortcuts. And I don't actually know where most of these tools are over in this box. So I'm going to tell you what keyboard shortcuts I'm using and we are just going to go from there. So there's our background that's white. And now we are going to go grab a reference picture. In this case, we are going to grab... This is Low Library, if nobody's used it. Low Library. I don't know how you say it, but we're going to look at bloomers because we're going to be making some bloomers. So I'm just going to go through here and look at, you know, things I like. I like this contrasting label. Uh, I like these longer ones that have this pattern on them. I'm really a big fan of the patterned ones right now. So we're going to go through here and we're going to just pick up some stuff we like. Uh, has any of these got frills on the back side? Okay. So now to save on a space, I don't actually uh, save these images. I hit copy image go over here, control V to paste. So GIMP is going to take anything that's pasted and make it a floating selection. So just hit new window or new, uh, new layer and that'll do it. And I press U to get the magic wand tool. We're going to zoom in a little bit. Uh, and with the magic wand tool, I will try to select the background. You saw there how it selected the pants as well. I didn't like that. So we're going to go into the magic wand tool settings over here. We're going to turn the threshold down. The lower the threshold is, the more... So here the threshold is lower, so it's picking smaller sections. If I bring it up a little bit, it's going to pick progressively larger and larger sections. And I just have to find that sweet spot where it will select the background but not the bloomers. So right about there is good. The other thing that you can do is you can hold down on this and hit select by color. And then again, if we turn the threshold down to about eight, if I need to deselect all of this, I hit control shift. Wait a sec. Uh, what do I do? To command shift A or control shift A. I'm on Mac. Uh, so it's looking like there's just not a good way to grab all of this background, so we're just going to move it. I go back to zoom where I can see most things. If you press the M key, it will give you the ability to move it. So we're going to put it over here. We're going to come back to these. I like gardening teddy long drawers. So we're going to grab that picture, copy image, go over here, paste image, new layer to move it. Press M to move this, press U to grab the background. And then we're going to, let me put a different background color on here. Shift B for the bucket tool. Oh. So I'm going to go here and just start selecting pieces. I'm actually going to turn the threshold up again. If I want to select multiple pieces, I hit Shift Select. I'm going to go back to 15. Uh, all right, and then if I want to get a clearer selection than this, I'm also going to select all this background area. I can go in here, hit select, grow, grow it by a couple pixels. Um, we're going to do two. And then we hit control X to cut that. There's our uh, background. So let's make that white again. Oh, it's that button. There we go. Hit M to move. If I want to get rid of this little bit up here, I can hit R to rectangular select. And then again with picking the, uh, the right layer and then control X. So now I have my transparent bloomers. If you don't want to go through all of that, the other way that you can do this is we could take like this picture 
copy that, put it over here, and then I can come over here to layer blending mode and hit multiply. Multiply will make the whole thing translucent, but it means that it's not going to have the white area go over the other ones. I just don't like it as much because that can happen. So now this bloomer right here is kind of big, so I'm going to hit Shift S. That's for scale. And then I can press Command as I zoom, and that will make it zoom like this. If I don't, I can zoom it like that. Both of those work pretty well depending on your application. So we're going to take these, we're going to move them over here. So then um, we're just going to grab some more bloomer patterns. Okay, so I also, I will be a little bit biased and I will uh, find that I favor bloomers that are definitely on a uh, white background because it's easier to get them to blend. So like Alice and the Pirates does this thing with their M to move, with their bloomers where they do this nice little frame on all their pictures. So we're going to hit R for the rectangular select tool. Going to grab this. Control I is going to invert the selection so it selects everything we didn't have before. And then again with the command X to get rid of the rest. I can go back in here and cut that background out and move these over here. Now, as I'm doing this, I am going to be adjusting, you know, I'm going to be adjusting uh, how, is there a picture of that? It's cute. I like that. So down here, I want that one to be a bottom layer so that other things go over it because I don't really need this for the information as much as the aesthetic. I love that Meta releases these. So there we go. And you can see how my bloomers that are just set to multiply, how it keeps going through them instead of behind them. So we are going to just do this again. Okay. Then you don't even need to remove the background images. It's just something I think looks nice. Active rabbit. Okay. Uh, and so I'm just going here and I'm grabbing things that I like the look of. Uh, it doesn't really need to be sorted. Uh, that's cute. I want pajama set. So, yeah, I like the way those work out. Thank you, AP. So, yep. Same pattern for a while. Uh, rectangular select to get the watermark out. Cut with Control X. Select all with Control Shift A. Or Control Shift A actually is deselect all. Makes everything go away. Over here is your layers box that I've been using. I want this to be behind this brown layer, so I'm just dragging it up. You'll also notice that all of my layers are labeled pasted layer number whatever. I am not going to name them later. I am just going to have 130 layers named pasted layer. I know that bothers some people, but um, that's too bad because, see, that's cute. That's, Camisole has waistband and leg cups, part of the 2001 polka dot series. I love that. I want to make that. We'll put that off for later, though. Uh, so now once I've decided, the, the downside of this setup is that it doesn't save where I'm getting these from. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't reserve these for, uh, like, I can't do just a quick, let me remember where I put that, where did these come from sort of situation. So that's a, that's a bit of a bummer, but I'm not trying to copy any, uh, I'm not trying to copy any one of these, uh, designs specifically. I just want a collection of, uh, things that I like the look of because basically there's, uh, there's, uh, 
so there's what 17 pages on the library of bloomers and uh that's a cool little set so we're gonna screen cap that come over here and drag that on as a new layer and just put that at the bottom so this is my aesthetic page and then I do want this to be transparent because it's just a background thing. So we're going to go back in here, go into multiply. And you are allowed in a mood board to put things that are not specifically part of the board in there just for background stuff. It can help if you have plans. So if I know for a fact that I want to, uh, if I want to make these, uh, if I want to make this, uh, sorry, that was someone knocking on the door. Uh, yeah, so if I want to take this and I want to make it, um, nope, brain's gone, thought's gone forever. Okay. Okay, so if I'm using this as a reference and I know that I want to make bloomers, but I'm not really sure what they are, what I'm doing here is I'm taking the world of 17 pages of bloomers on Lullaberry and I am putting them into a collection of ones that I've decided I like. And now anytime that I need a reference, I can come here and say, oh, what is it that I like? Instead of having to go all the way through and like, we're going to do something dangerous here and we're just going to go onto Google Images and we are going to type, I'm so scared of doing this right now. Yikes. Okay. I'm so... Oh, boy. So we can do this. These are not necessarily good examples of this, but it's very useful to have, like, the... I like those. The idea of, um, you know, Lola Berry tells us what people who know what Lolita uh, looks like think Lolita is, and then uh, Google tells us what people who don't know what Lolita looks like uh knows what it is so we're gonna that's just disturbing so we can go through here we can go on to like oh normally I go on to closet of frills but we can't so if we go to like uh, oh my gosh Okay, so we can grab, like, pictures that are posted on public forums. I use Closet of Frills on my own personal reference. Oh, good, the images are broken. Thank you, Coda Bucket. Uh, but I, um, I use Closet of Frills, but I'm not going to use Closet of Frills in a public demonstration because it is a private group. Um, but... If it's like, if I'm looking up Gothic Lolita, I can say, uh, get stuff off, uh, Instagram, places where people have posted stuff publicly. So if I, you know, I can go down here and be like, oh, I like that one. And then put those in my mood board. Uh, so if we do, like, I don't know, old school Lolita, we can take this. Come on, internet, I have faith in you. I had faith in you. Okay, so now I could go through here and search for, uh, bloomers that I like. So... I like how these work, so we're going to screenshot this, come over here, put this into the folder, put it over here, and we can do this for a while. Finding substyles I like and then seeing if they use the element that I want is a very important way of uh, figuring out how I want to uh, design this. So there's some, there's a cute, thank you, frilly, vanilly cosplay. And 
And so we can just slowly fill up this. I want this to be smaller so that I can have space for something else. And basically when you think that your picture is full, you're about halfway there. I have all this space and I'm gonna fill up all of it. Uh, so this is, this is how you make mood board. You can flip things around, but that is the basics of what I do. That's a cute bonnet. That's the basics of what I do uh, for mood boards. That's the process is copy the image, paste it onto the canvas, hit new layer to make it stop being a floating selection, clear the background with the magic wand tool, the select by color tool, or uh, setting the layer mode to multiply. That's not actually necessary for everything, but if you can move the background, then you get a uh, better, you get to fit more things on the mood board. Set that to multiply. You use the move tool, which is this one. You hit M, that will let you move layers. You hit shift S to get the scale tool. That's also underneath the transform menu uh, to change the size on things. You use the rectangle select tool. There's also the ellipse select tool, but press R for rectangular select to remove pieces that way. Then you just have control S no, sorry, control X to cut. That'll delete something. If you have a full-sized uh, keyboard with a delete button, that works too, but I'm on a laptop. And then if you have a selection that's kind of ugly looking and you want to clean it up, you can hit select grow and then grow it by one to two pixels. That'll usually clean up the selection a whole lot. And then when you're done and you've got this whole thing all the way filled up, you can save it. And then when you need a reference for these things, you will have a single board with ideas that you have pre-selected to be relevant and you don't need to get lost doing a ton of research. So that is how you do mood boards. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. I am sorry that I sound weird. Thank you.